excellent work. Your handling of the command center was very effective at quelling further advances by the Soviets. Well done indeed. Yeah, well, it's not all good news, Jones. Tell him. Tell him what happened. We're seriously hurting here. I'm sorry to have to tell you, Chris, but your brother is dead. Shortly after he appeared on television, he was taken to Governor's Island. We understand that he was executed personally by General Tatarin. It is said that he died like a man, without a flinch or tear. I know it is painful, but you can be proud of him. Man, I can't take this! You know, Tatarin's gonna pay for killing Troy. He's gonna regret he ever stepped foot in New York. I say we hit him with everything we've got and- Bags? Chris, I'm sorry. I know it hurts, but we need to keep a cool head. We don't want to do anything irrational. Yet, I have a strange feeling about this. Yes, well... You must understand that the only action now that will truly hurt the Soviet agenda is to assassinate Tatarin. Eliminating him will spread chaos in the Soviet ranks and give way to a united American resistance. Oh, oh. That's a brilliant plan, Jones. What do we do? Invite ourselves over for a cocktail, then slip some cyanide in his vodka? No, we're gonna need some serious firepower to take him down. That guy's got his eye on every rat and cockroach on the island. Jones might be right. If we did manage to remove Tatarin, it could be the turning point for our cause. Let's double check our intelligence. There has to be a way to get him. After yesterday's hit on their installations, they'll be expecting company. This will need to be a surgical strike. We can't risk sending in a squad. I'm afraid this is a solo operation. Or... a two-man operation. You know, I know this is personal, Chris, and that's cool, kid, but if you need me, I'm with you all the way, buddy. Bring on Tatarin and his boys. I got plenty of bullets for him. I quite agree with Isabella. This mission calls for stealth, not ham-handed bravado. There's a sniper rifle in the weapons gallery. Chris, I'll arrange for a rowboat to the island. You must assassinate Tatarin. Without his leadership, the Soviet armed forces will crumble. This is no easy task and demands stealth, if you are to succeed. Bide your time and find a good sniping position. It is the key to your success. Hello everyone and welcome to our Freedom Fighters Let's Play. Today we continue our adventure with Governor's Island Naval Base. Alright, so as you guys can see it looks like we have a small little patrol kind of going on at the moment. They do appear to kind of be stuck on a box so obviously we can definitely discern that these guys are not the most intelligent individuals to ever grace our planet but nonetheless we might have to utilize our pistol. I'm hoping that this guy will actually walk in front of us and that way we can kind of take care of at least one, but it's looking like all three, so we might be able to come up and kind of snipe these guys in the back of the face here, which would make my life a little bit easier. I do want their back fully turned to us before we start unloading on these guys, though. Now, unfortunately, we're not the fastest reloader to ever come about but I think I actually might utilize our sniper here and then maybe switch over to one of those AKs because I did see this guy as we were coming up we've taken care of at least one guy I don't think there's anybody else in that tower but I guess we'll find out before very long now as of the moment we are rocking quite a bit of magazines now obviously it could be much better but Beggars can't be choosers, as you guys know, so we're going to have to utilize this to the best of our ability. Let's actually check inside this building, though, because I do see a staircase, and that's always kind of a precursor to mean that there's maybe a sniper somewhere in the building, or maybe there's a sniper rifle. Alright, so we are able to kind of beat that guy into submission, so obviously we know our fisticuffs are of the highest value when it comes to damage, so that's always a good thing. But nonetheless, we're actually going to continue to work our way. I did see that he dropped a sniper, but I feel like with how big this compound is, we'll probably need some AK action here before very long, and so I kind of want to come into everything being a little bit more prepared. All 
All right, now at the moment, we were able to successfully take care of a couple of guys. And we do see that there is one more gentleman that's kind of lurking about over there. However, if I maybe go for this flank over here, he might not quite see this coming. I definitely feel like it was probably a pretty good idea to pull out the AK this time around, especially when we had three of them with at least two magazines ready to go. So I think we actually made the proper decision on that. I think it would have been pretty difficult to try to utilize a magnum in order to kill all of those guys. So we're going to do a little bit of a parkouring as we jump our way all the way to victory. We do have to be really careful because I'm not exactly sure where all these patrols are and obviously we don't really want to create too many difficulties for ourselves so obviously if we can kind of sneak past everybody that'll make our life a lot easier but it is difficult to say at the moment if we're going to be able to kind of work our way all the way over. You have a couple of guys over there, but as of the moment, they don't really know that we're here. So obviously, I don't really need to be letting everybody know that we're all kind of lurking about at the moment. It does look like we do have a few guys over here, so this does make things a little bit more challenging. I don't know if we're going to be able to jump over this without that guy seeing us. But he does appear to be the blindest guy in the entire history of the world, so that's good to know. Now, as of the moment, we're still under the illusion of being completely stealthy. I do fear that that guy in that tower is not going to let me beat this guy into submission, though. Trying to switch over to the sniper rifle, but we were having some difficulties there. Alright, so both of the snipers have been taken care of, so that should make our life a little bit easier. I am going to try to gain access into these towers, though. I feel like they're so high in the air that there is no way that they don't have any, like, overwatch on the governor. So I feel like our target will probably be accessible by one of these towers, but I guess we'll find out as we climb our way all the way to the tippy top, though. Now, as we come up to the very top, at the very beginning of the mission, we did snipe that other sniper, so I was actually surprised to see that there was two of them in this tower. That does kind of concern me, though, as we got to the top, though, because obviously if we didn't know about that other guy, that could have meant that we could have actually gotten killed. Looks like we have located our target. I'm not exactly sure if that's a bodyguard or what that guy is. Now, as we come down to the very bottom here, obviously we can hear a chopper, and I do feel like that chopper probably has some guns on it. It's probably not very happy with us. Oh, my God. 